Hey, what's up guys and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be having a look at one of the best class setups that you could possibly have in Infinite Warfare. I've been playing the beta non-stop and if you're gonna be going for gameplays, nukes or anything like this, you're gonna wanna give this class a go. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so let's get straight into making the class itself. I'm going to be making it in the menu so you can see exactly where everything is so you can go and make it very easy. And then I'm also going to show you some kick-ass gameplay using this class because it's absolutely incredible and you should definitely give it a go. All right, let's start with a weapon anyway. So what's awesome about this setup is that you can use any gun that you really want to use, whether it's an assault rifle, an SMG, an LMG, as long as it has a suppressor and it works across the board. So I've personally been using the MV4 a lot because I think it's one of the best guns available in the beta and it's one of the strongest guns I've seen so far in Infinite Warfare. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And remember, you can kind of go through all your different variants as well. Um, I would recommend using the best variant you have. I sadly don't have that MV4 Fallout yet because I want to get nukes. I want to get nukes with an AR rather than that SMG, which just hasn't really been working for me, if I'm honest. So we're going to go ahead and use the Vigilance. Um, now, you don't need to have any optic sight on it at all uh, because the iron sights are really good in this game, but I've found so far. Then, of course, you're going to want a suppressor on this gun. Then I personally run quick draw, and then I also use stock. Now, the reason I use those three attachments on my assault rifle is because the NV4 doesn't really have much recoil. It's really, really good, especially with some of the variants that are available. Um, then quick draw and stock are just kind of my base AR kind of attachments that you should always use because it just makes you like be able to compete against SMGs. Um, I then don't use an SMG. I don't use any lethals. I don't use any tacticals. You want to go straight into perk one and run recon. Now, what's also about this perk is it means that every UAV in the game is going to be beneficial to you, whether it's an enemy UAV killing your teammates or your own team's UAV or even your own UAV, you're going to get that benefit of it. And it also gives you a larger map area, mini map, so you can see exactly what's going on, uh, which, believe me, helps a ridiculous amount. And now this is the combination that makes this class so, so incredible because you throw on Ghost. Okay, so now it doesn't matter if the enemy get a UAV, you're going to be staying off the mini map anyway. They're just going to be helping you. If your team get a UAV, it's going to be helping you. There is no negative to using this particular setup. Like if anyone uses a UAV, it's only going to benefit you. It can't have a negative effect. Then perk two, I would always recommend using scavenger. Sadly, it's not available in the beta. So I've been running hardline just to kind of get my perks up, my, um, my score streaks a little bit quicker. But momentum's also really good if you're running an SMG. So I've been using hardline and then perk three, Three, I would recommend using either, either Marksman so you can see names and distance a bit better or Gunho if you're using a SMG. So I'm using an AR so I'm going to go with Marksman. But that's the class. Let's take a look at some gameplay. Now I want to show you this bit of gameplay because it's everything that this class is about. Getting behind the enemy, racking up a ton of kills and obviously you've got to run that hot pink camo uh, because it's like hot pink. It's manly, okay? It's manly. I don't know. I just kind of picked the camo because I liked it. Um, but well, honestly it's perfect for like kind of making the enemy have no clue where you are and every time they're getting a UAV, normally you're like oh great, I've got a UAV. I'm helping out my team but no, you're going to be helping out the opposing team or they're helping out you depending on who's using the class and it's kind of going to be really interesting to see how it affects kind of support streaks in general because is it going to be include advanced UAVs or is it just going to be the base UAV and is that going to mean that it's worth running that streak at all because one of the awesome things as well is sound whoring is back in Infinite Warfare. Footsteps are really loud like metal flip flops again so if they're not running dead silent you can hear them but this is the class that's some gameplay give it a go. So there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know what you think of the class in the comments below. Drop a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time.